Hello everyone, I hope you're having a great day today. So today we are making a arts and crafts, in, well an art inspired house, it is an arts and crafts house. So I kind of got some inspiration from looking at some images online and I wanted to try and do a style that is quite prominent here in the UK. So I thought I was kind of looking online and uh, this house kind of stood out to me it is based on a 2.97 million pound house here in the UK because <laughs> it happened to be one that was actually up for sale and they had an advert on it so I was like right I'm, I'm using the back of this house to inspire the rest of the house so it is a three story house that kind of has rooms in the attic and has sort of a brick foundation level and then it goes up into like a rendering and then some beams at the top and it's got this really cool little tower that kind of juts out as well which kind of drew me to making this building anyway because it had like a little balcony area that we're just popping in now and it was quite fun having to fit all the roofs and stuff in how an arts and crafts house actually actually is and I actually wanted to upload this video today on the 31st of August because this is the channel's anniversary day it is a year old I can't believe it's already been a year it has literally flown by for me so much so many things are different from a year ago and my situation has changed and lots of things have happened and it's been it's been a a roller coaster of a time and making houses in the sim has always been a fun <laughs> looking forward to my week sort of activity and I have enjoyed making houses and getting some lovely comments from you the people who watch the videos as well which I am always look forward to getting because they make me want to carry on and make build more builds and stuff and this house actually gave me a super idea that I want to try and do a little little series on which hopefully I can actually do some research over the weekend on how how I want to do this but that is something to look forward to a bit more of a educate not educational but like sort of education inspired and sort of historical inspired sort of series and I got to use a good mix of windows here Cut a lot of them were from the get together stuff pack which really encapsulated what the arts and crafts sort of windows and sort of stuff they had they didn't have the sort of arched ones but we didn't have any windows that matched and I had to overlap some of them as well but you can kind of see the house is taking shape they have lots of roofs that are quite quite like elongated and they come over like two or more what well, um, one or more levels so it kind of makes the roof look sort of really long <laughs> and they always have like super really old old bricks and sort of smaller windows at the t getting higher up the house and sort of some nice big ones that fit fit nicely at the top of like the second wall height on the bottom floor and they always like using sort of blacks and whites for the outside because that was kind of the material availability and it's all about woods and making everything sort of look handmade and lovely <laughs> and we've got I didn't know quite what to do with the front bit here so I made a massive porch <laughs> that has the a very small sort of columns going up to it that would technically not really support that big of a roof but I thought it, thought it kind of matched with the theme and trying to fit in all the roofs so they looked like they were connecting as well and then the side was looking a bit blank so I was like oh, I can add some add some chimneys and put them so they look like it's actually 
built onto the side of the house rather than placing them sort of just plonked on the roof sort of make it a little feature and we've got lots of trees and stuff around the house as well so i actually cut out the the wallpaper and the flooring because it took me forever but we kind of see at the layout there are i think five bedrooms in this house it's quite a quite a big house like considering that it's not on one of the biggest lots but it turned out to be a bit of a monstrous house <laughs> once I actually got into it and it took me a while to furnish it as well because there's, there's lots of different things so we kind of got an attitude space we've got a few kids bedrooms and master bedrooms and all sorts of stuff on the second floor and then we've got living spaces kitchen a massive kitchen i'm super super jealous of the <laughs> of the sims and for their big kitchen we've got dining room and sort of a snug and a pantry that's off the kitchen as well so it's got a lot of good stuff in it so we're going to start off with the entrance hall so all the furniture i kind of wanted to have some sort of decorativeness to it that sort of alluded to it being handmade or crafted like what the arts and crafts movement was all about so there's lots of dark woods there's lots of like ornate things like this jungle adventure side table which is not particularly in the vein of arts and crafts but it's it's the best we can do in the sims and then we've got the new free update chairs in there as well because they've got the detailed wood pattern on it which is very much in keeping with the arts and crafts theme and i wanted to make a a little boot thing a boot stand on top but it it wasn't the same matching wood which is always a fun task to do in the sims which is try and match everything and this mirror with the little lines and stuff on it even though to me it looks a bit more a bit more art deco or 60s inspired but i was kind of like yeah we'll, we'll go with that as well <laughs> and we've got some big big rugs and stuff and we've got I'm using a parquet floor as well because i thought they'd go very ornate with the flooring and we've got some sort of more ornate looking bookshelves and stuff about and when we get onto the actual living room itself I've choose some more like wood and ornate sort of furniture that kind of looks like it's crafted basically everything has to look like someone else has made it but first of all i use the seasons ones because it has the big nice cushions on it i thought this is kind of more a formal like living space and then we go back to the theme for the little box window seats that i put in and we put in some old looking end tables as well that are from get together which i thought matched quite nicely and then we've got this more traditional ceiling light as well which is more sort of art nouveau -y, but <laughs> it will do <laughs> and try and put in a lot of book bookcases and stuff and trying to make it as detailed as possible but also trying to keep it keep it quite brown <laughs> and keep it quite white as well because they are always the main the main colors on here and i also have a little sort of work area down the bottom here so we've got a, a one of the thicker <laughs> thicker oh what they're called uh <laughs> The, the study desk whatever it's called <laughs> I can't. it's having a word blank and i use quite a lot of the cats and dogs sort of old looking lamps and some of the tiffany looking lamps as well because i thought that that would fit fit the theme of being all handmade and stuff and now we are on to the beast of a kitchen <laughs> it is a huge area and when I was doing it, I was like, oh dear, I made it too big. But actually, in the end, it worked out perfectly fine. In here, we have the two fridges. We've got some boxes. We've got some, like, the milk laden and sort of some, some bits and bobs. And I put a bin in there as well, I think. And we kind of split the kitchen up 
in the end because I was like, we need we need to split it up somehow. So we kind of got a washing and sort of washing machine and sink and stuff on the side with the windows. So it's kind of more a cleaning area. Then in the middle, we've got a cooking space. And then on the back area, we kind of got prep and sort of <laughs> utility sort of things like microwave and uh a coffee machine and stuff and i put the one of the bar the pub separation things on the end just to separate off because i wanted to have some sort of a seating or breakfast sort of area to fill the space and then i make this little sort of country-esque little feature on the wall that has the dustpan and the, the washing board and some towels and stuff and i thought that that was quite a nice little feature just trying to decorate the back as much as I could because it was it was a big space to cover. So the more clutter, the better in this in this space, especially on the backs. I tried to keep the middle quite clean so the Sims could actually cook some stuff and put like some older scales and fruit bowls and we've got the more ornate looking pop hanger over the kitchen. Oh, over the cookers anyway then we've got some plants and stuff by the door that leads out into the back garden and i put some of the side sort of i don't know what they're like side shelves next to the fireplace and some like handcrafted pots or well, plates and stuff from the parenthood just to decorate the top and then we've got a nice little rustic table with the cats and dogs wicker chair things to go around it which i thought was quite cute and then this is the formal dining room so this is a bit more a bit more well not sophisticated but a bit more controlled might be a good word to describe it it's got like really old pictures and it's it's a plainer room it's got you just using the browns and the whites as well so it's quite quite a neutral sort of space not too much going on there good for good for having a lot of sims around and then because it is a modern home we kind of needed a little snug area for a tv space so use the the roll tops and the new little coffee table there and just put in a few bits and bobs but it was quite a small space so you didn't need too much of the stuff in there to make it a nice cozy space and then up here on the landing we have this little nook so i thought it'd be nice another place to sit down and just chill out so we've got some nice purples bringing in a bit of color and then adding in made sure i added in fireplaces all the way up where the chimneys were just to keep keep some consistency and i thought using the seasons wardrobes would be good for this build because it's got that nice little little decoration on the front which is a little plant which is very much what they would do in a house and it's kind of got two separate spaces so we've got the, the bed area and then we've got by the window we have the the corner seat and the wardrobe space so it's kind of like a dressing like a uh, imagine the little table at the end is like a desk it's a more of a vanity table for getting ready and stuff and that one has a ensuite bathroom as well which is huge it's as big as the main bathroom on this floor and then this is kind of a sort of a older sim child sims room or guest room i suppose it's got a built-in wardrobe at the side and then a smaller wardrobe at the other end with big big mirrors and a few of the wing back seats as well it's very brown and it went went overboard with the brown and we've got a easel in the window as well so you can do a few paintings out of the bay window which would be which would be quite nice and using a lot of the new sort of tapestry paintings that we got in the free update sort of pictures and stuff because i thought that would be quite a nice feature to have and then this is a kid's bedroom so we've got lots of dark woods use the bed from seasons which i don't use enough i do like that bed and adding just a few bits and bobs and making 
making it have a bit more of a modern feel because the kid wouldn't really stick to the strict rules of having only certain type of furniture and then we've got a toddler's room as well using the the older bed with what well, the older looking bed that looks more like a camping bed and then we've got a few blue bits and bobs about a few toys as well but it's quite a big space because it's more square than the other room so there's a bit more space and then this is kind of like a little study family area so we've got to put a grand piano in the little nook there so it's like there's nothing else that can really fit in there and we've got a don't wake the llama as well and I was like this is a good house to put in the cats and dogs uh the fish tank as well because that looks I never get to use the fish tanks so I was just like yes we are putting one of those in and then up in it, here in the attic I was like we need a little skill building room and a place where they put all the stuff like the decoration box and presents and sort of seasonal things so that is all up here with a archaeology table and woodworking bench and a flower arrangement table as well and then I thought it would be nice to have another teen sort of space so it's kind of one that's more personalised to them we've kind of got more sort of run down looking wallpaper and stuff using the one with the, that's got a bit thicker sort of wood trim to it we've got a few cracks and they've kind of put like posters and graffiti and stuff up and it's a bit more bit more of them coming through and that one also has an ensuite bathroom to it so they don't have to come all the way downstairs just to just to use the bathroom and I put a little seating area out there as well so it's kind of like a chill out space and there are two balconies on the for that room as well one at the front and one at the back so I imagine it'd be quite fun if you could actually like climb down the building and escape from it and I used the the trees from seasons there in the little hexagonal pots to put on all the balconies because um, it looked really really cool and they're small enough to like not dominate the whole thing so you couldn't like sit out there or anything and then I put a load of the planters as well to use as a little border because the little cut out bits were perfect to put some plants and stuff in and then we've got a little well and a, a swing and we've got a few like pet stuff out the back as well we've got a toy box and a feeder as well i think i put a, a dog bed in up like right on the top floor and we've got a little picnic bench as well out there so if they did want to go eat outside then that is a perfect opportunity and when i came out of filming this to do the screenshots and stuff it was all autumn and it looked really really cool which it which you'll be able to see in the screenshots because all the leaves are like reds and yellows and oranges and it's just like it's feeling like that already here in the UK the temperature is dropping and autumn and winter is definitely on its way and all the clothes in the shops and stuff are orange and maroons and stuff so they are two two of my favorite colors to wear so going to be buying a lot of new stuff and did a little bit of formal hedging out the front and adding a little car as well just to make it just to make it look a little bit realistic and adding a few few final things on the balcony oh yeah and adding a load of plants and stuff growing away and excuse the windows news feed that keeps coming up i turn that off as soon as i finish i was like why is this even turned on silly windows trying to push trying to push notifications everywhere so here are the screenshots i hope you enjoyed and if you did feel free to give it a like and if you'd like to see any more builds then feel free to subscribe and hopefully i will see you in the next one bye